What's going on people? Welcome back to another Transfer Daily video on my channel. We're going to be having a very defensive Transfer Daily video today. We're going to be talking about John Stones, Lewis Dunk and potential transfer moves for both of them. We're going to round it off with a little bit about John Obi Mikel and a little bit about uh, Pedro as well. But before I start this video, as usual, you know what time it is on this video. It's the time where I tell you, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like button, press that subscribe button as well to rid ourselves of all the red off this channel. And don't forget to press that bell notification button as well to be the first guy to know whenever I release any new content on this channel. Now, let's go straight into the transfer news for today. And rumours are saying that we're not just in for one defender, but we're in for two over the transfer window. First player we're looking at, is Lewis Dunk from Brighton and this is a rumour that has gained a lot of steam over the weekend. I hadn't been filming as much as usual over the weekend. I've been in Northampton with my mates, just hadn't seen guys in a while so it was good to catch up. There wasn't any content for the weekend but it is what it is. Sometimes you do have to miss a day in the transfer market, especially when there is just barely any news to talk about. I mean sometimes this news pops up but there's such little information, it's just all so much speculation. It's like What's the point of me making a video if I'm just going to waffle about it? But there's more news coming in. There's more information now. And now I feel like I can talk about this. Chelsea are interested in signing Lewis Dunk from Brighton. couple stats from you as well. 87% pass accuracy this season. Won 66% of his aerial duels. And he's made about three clearances and one interception per match. He's Brighton's captain. Player of the season for Brighton as well last season. And one of the most consistent centre-backs in the league last season as well to top it off. Now, he can, he can play the ball out of the back, but like we've already said, 87% pass accuracy. But the key thing for me is the experience. He's a Brighton captain. The English barrier also isn't there, which is very key when it comes to the defensive side of the pitch because we're talking about defensive organisation and communication. And when we're talking about those two aspects of a game, that's been two of our weakest aspects of the game this season. Defensive organisation has been a joke. Now, I've said that so many times this season, I sound like a broken record. Look at the Bayern game as a huge example for that. Let's look at the second goal when Christensen was in no man's land. Kovac just lost the ball in a stupid position. Emerson won even in his position at left back and Zuma was just left by himself to mark both Perisic and Lewandowski and he was just made to look stupid. So like I said, experience is a huge reason why I think this is a good move for us because we need defenders with that level of experience and Dunk at 29 years old might not be the smartest long-term decision, I, I will say that, but this doesn't feel like a long-term move from us. I think we are going to be going in for more centre-backs, I think especially next season or the potential seasons after that because a lot of our centre-backs do need replacing. I've said it on this channel multiple times, I think Rudiger needs replacing. Christensen, I could see him getting given one more season, but if we went to try and replace him as well, I kind of get it too. And I think Lewis Dunk would be a good replacement for at least one of them. I personally want to replace him for Rudiger. But for me, I've already said experience is a huge reason for this. It's a £40 million deal that I think the price has been put out for, which is half that at the Declan Rice deal. And I feel that's why Chelsea are now leaning more towards Lewis Dunk compared to Declan Rice. Declan Rice, great signing if we can make it. But we needed West Ham to go down, so the price tag could go down as well. But... We lost to West Ham twice in a season. We kind of kick-started their relegation fight and now they're staying up. They get they can keep all of their assets and they can also promise some regular Premier League football. So they're going to command the maximum fee for Declan Rice, especially when it's Chelsea and it's one of their biggest rivals in the league. Only because they just know their fans are going to shit on them if they sell their best player to Chelsea. It's just shades of Frank Lampard all over again. So they don't want anything like that. I will take Lewis Dunk, and I've said I've said it multiple times in this video as well. Experience is the key reason for me. Declan Rice, I was very happy to have at Chelsea, but I still had my qualms about his lead about his leadership, only because he's still young as well. He's still inexperienced as well. This guy is not is going to grow, but it's going to take time, and that's okay but we're trying to grow at a quicker rate which is why I think we need a more experienced player first before a younger player like Declan Rice who can play as a centre-back but hasn't always played as a centre-back which means there's going to need the, that bit of reintegration back into a centre-back position and then there's also going to be the issue with the lack of leadership as well 
which it might hold us back just a little bit, which is why I want us to go for an experienced centre back first. So me, I'm happy to go for Lewis Dunk, but let's go straight into the next piece of transfer news as well. And like I said, our defensive restructuring is not just going to be finished with if we sign Declan, Ru if we sign Ben Chilwell and Lewis Dunk. We are also in for another defender, and John Stones has been the name that's been thrown out yet again. It feels like it's 2015 all over again. And remember that tug of war between Chelsea and Manchester City over John Stones. It's coming over again. And Frank Lampard is interested in bringing Stones from Manchester City. He's been out of favour over the last 18 months. I think he's played 25 appearances this season last season with 14 of those appearances in the Premier League. That's not even 15 Premier League appearances in a season. We're hearing transfer fees of around 20 to 30 million for John Stones but I think Frank Lampard and Chelsea are trying to push for a loan deal first with maybe an option to buy mainly because of the spending that we've done this season. We've already spent on Havertz. Uh, Chilwell looks like it's already through the door. Uh, Ziyech and Werner as usual if we get Lewis Dunk as well because I think we're planning to get Dunk first and then go for John Stones that'll be five signings first before we've even sold anyone which is that's I'm, I don't really mind all of that but do you remember what Matt Law was saying a couple weeks ago when he was like Chelsea need to sell in order to buy and there will be a centre-back leaving this season there will be a left-back leaving this season as well if we're making up we're making all of these signings apparently but no one's even left yet. Like, we know there is a left back that will be leaving in the summer. And it is probably going to be Emerson. It's more, this is another one where it's like, when, not if. Centre backs, we're not so sure about. Me personally, I want us to get rid of Rudiger. But apparently, Zuma is looking like the most likely to be sold because he's the only centre back getting any offers right now. There's been a couple French clubs in for Kurt Zuma, I think a few German clubs as well. I know PSG has registered their interest, but bar that, I can't tell you for sure about who's been interested in him. But to get John Stones on top, only as a loan deal, in my opinion, because this feels relatively short term for me. And also, in the case of John Stones, it's Man City scraps. And his, we've taken the piss out of Arsenal so many times because they buy our scraps and they buy our older players who are just trying to stay in London. John Stones hasn't shone at Manchester City. There's a reason why Manchester City don't play him regularly. There's a reason why Manchester City prefer other defenders to him. And there's a reason why Manchester City signed John Stones first and then had to get other defenders to replace him. All those issues in this Everton game are still prevalent in his Manchester City play. So I'm looking as like, if Manchester City, who are a better team than us, don't want John Stones, why do we want him as a starter? That don't really make too much sense to me. If Frank Lampard really, really, really wants him, then I'll just put my hands up to it because I don't really know better than Frank Lampard and it just is what it is. But I'll only, me personally, I'll only take this on a rate on a loan deal. I don't think John Stones is the answer to our shaky defensive problems. If anything, it might add to it. If it happens, I will support it. I'll support anyone who walks through our door. But it's not really the most confident of signings, in my opinion. So, yeah, that just is what it is. Last bit of transfer news. I've heard Leeds United are interested in signing Mishi Batshuayi from us. Honestly, any club take him at this point. I think he'll start over Patrick Bamford. He's a great finisher. It's just tactically where I think he struggles. But Marco Bielsa is a very analytical analytical manager who spends hours upon hours on researching third place goalkeepers in a team and stuff like that so he will find a way to make Mishu Batshuayi work but it's also about getting those thoughts into Mishu Batshuayi's head because we've had plenty of managers say he's impossible when it comes to teaching him tactics so if Leeds United want him take him please but other than that it just is what it is uh, last bit of news, uh, Pedro has arrived in Rome to complete a Chelsea, his medical from Chelsea. We knew that this deal was happening with Roma for about a month or two. The only thing that we were worried about was if that would be impacted by his injury in the FA Cup final where he got that shoulder injury in the dying minutes of that game. Contract is till 2023, but it looks like this will be going through. So Pedro, again, thanks to the memories, brilliant servant. But... That is the end of the transfer news for today. Let me know your thoughts on Lewis Dunk, John Stones. Do you want both of them? Do you want one of them? Are you happy with both of them? Let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G as well. And we'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care. Up the chill.